much fun, man. All these different countries, all these different places we've been going. And honestly, you guys, it's not possible without the love and the support of my family. They made that possible. Because I can't just go take off. You know, you really? Seriously? You know, you're just going to leave? It takes a strong woman, first of all, to put up with me. And it's not easy. Oh, you're going to go travel the world with this crazy guy named Martin who's got tattoos and issues? Have fun. Uh-uh. It's not easy, you guys. Like I said, it takes a lot of love and support from my family. And right now, it's a crazy time because my son is 15, okay? Some of you know I have a son from my last special. Uh, I talked about how he became a dad and, um, because he's, he's technically my stepson. And the only reason I'm saying that is because he's been in my life for eight years and he's 15. So I don't want you to look at me and the math is all wrong. And you're like, he's ghetto. I'm not ghetto. I just hooked up with a beautiful woman who had a pre-started family, which is why the math is off. Basically, I took over a lease is what happened. And everything's been going great. But when he turned 15, it started changing. Like he no longer talks to me, which is crazy. Not to say that he doesn't see me and acknowledge me. He just doesn't talk. And I thought it was personal, and his mom is like, no, he's going through a phase. Like, he doesn't speak. He makes sounds. Frankie, how's your day? <sighs> Did you take out the trash? Ah! Like, wow. Like, the only person he talks to is at the other end of his phone, because that's all he does. All day, just text, 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 text. And it's funny because he's always like this, texting. And when he walks around, he takes little steps so that in case he bumps into something, it doesn't hurt. Like, he's like, like the little vacuum, you know? You, and then, you know, and then, you know. And when he's taking these little steps, he makes these sounds. And his tongue comes out halfway. It looks freaky. Like he's trying to text with it. And I asked his mom, is he okay? He's going through a phase. And I could totally understand my son standing in the corner for 15 minutes at his time with his tongue out making noises if he was a special circumstance. <laughs> but he's not, okay? If he was, I'd hug him and love him the same, but he's not. He's a straight A student in his school. He's at the top of the list in his class as one of the smartest kids. And it's, no, 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 don't, don't clap, don't clap. You know why? You know why? Because on paper, it says he's a genius. But at home, <laughs> it doesn't match. And don't get me wrong, you guys. I believe that good grades are important, okay? But you would think with all the different classes that they offer in school, how come they don't have a class called common sense? You know what I mean? Make it the easiest class they have ever taken. Make it so easy that it's the exact same class every single day. They don't pay attention anyway. Make it the same. Hello class, welcome to Common Sense. Let us begin. Up, down, left, right, hot, cold. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower! When he turned 15, he forgot how to play with water. Oh my God, and for me, you guys, smell is so important. It is so important. You know how many people I meet every single year? I am so self-conscious. I don't want anyone to smell me that I meet and all of a sudden have them say, fluffy smell like ass. <laughs> Hell no. I know I'm a big guy. That's why I do double the maintenance. Twice the showers, twice the cologne, twice the deodorant, twice the powder. If I fart right now, this whole area will smell like cinnamon. That's how I roll. <laughs>